we go as we continue on in the Mara. Our roof is back up again, or at least the flaps are back up again. Oh, yes, I will move up for you. Another safari vehicle. And the wonderful thing about the Mara is that when you want to spot something, you can at great distances. And there's a hippopotamus. And I've decided, I'm pretty sure that's what the noise was. I think there were two hippo having a bit of an argument. I didn't even realize as we were driving along to investigate the sound that I heard. There we go. Maybe. There we go, we've got Ellie's and our hippopotamus on the right. Gives you a sense of perspective of the size of the two animals because it's not often that we see them next to each other, is it? At least not when the hippo's out of the water. I'm not unheard of for elephants to chase hippopotamus, but there's no reason at the moment. There's plenty of water around. I think that's the hippo that was having an argument with another one earlier. Two goliaths in one frame. That's very, very cool. I can see the rest of the herd up ahead, so I'm actually going to go a bit closer so that we can catch up with them. You know what's nice, Dave? Is Pucker's key is now turning quite happily. That's very good. Maybe she just needed a few moments to collect herself. Oh, the only problem is the gears are not, uh, they're loose. I, I don't quite know exactly what it is, but it's impossible to change gear without grinding it. Let's go catch up with these Ellies, and then maybe there'll be some hyena around the dead hippopotamus. And Kestrel spots, yes indeed, hippo out at the daytime, or in the day. They, that's actually very, very common, particularly on a cool and cloudy day. We're going to see hippos walking around. Often when we've been on bushwalks in the Sabi sand, we mention on a cold day how we have to be extra careful because especially in winter when it's cool and the hippopotamus are struggling to find grass to keep themselves properly fed, they spend quite a lot of time out of water. And the reason I think this hippo's out is partly because it's cool and cloudy and rainy and also because it was having an argument with another hippopotamus a little bit off to what is what is that direction? I'm still trying to orientate myself, especially on a cloudy day. Yeah, west. Must be west. It's where the sun's going. Oh, have we got some cokes up ahead? That might be new for some of you, a new animal. You can see some topi. Let's go and see if there's a cokes heart to beast with them. There is too. Looks Looks like a small, pale topi. Oh, look at that, Dave. Look, they're having a... I'm scared they're going to stop if I get closer, but the ones, the young ones over there, were having a little bit of a... Oh, <laughs> not quiet, are we, pucker? Oh, oh, there we go. Young ones playing. So there we go. We've got the topi with their dark legs and then the coax hartebeest off to the right as well. Let's get closer since they've stopped fighting. They seem to be in high spirits. Topi are hilarious. They sleep during the day out in the open, and I think they just feel more comfortable, the animals here, about sleeping out in the open, because you see it more often. But they sleep with their noses on the ground. It looks so peculiar. I can't quite explain it. I'll have to show you at some point. Lucian, I have to tell you, yes. <laughs> Wait, let's watch these antelope because they are playing at the moment and, and I'll tell you about the view from the top of the hills. Lucian is saying that the view, of course, every time I try and point out what they're doing, they stop it. Murphy's Law. Oh, well, can talk about the view. The view is spectacular, absolutely spectacular. We live, or we are going to live at the moment, we're, we're living at Ngama, but we live... There is final control. 
It will be painted at some point, so the white walls won't stick out too much. There you go. That's a final control. That big window, well, that big open space that will one day be a window in the not-too-distant future, that will be the studio, which will be the sort of the equivalent of the tent in South Africa. And it's got the most spectacular view in the world. This view, of course, was what was seen out of Africa. The famous view across the open area. I'm going to make my way towards those elephants and then do a bit of a bumble around <laughs> while I do. Let's go back across to Ali, who has plans to go to Chitwa.